Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. My Patrick Ta order just arrived a little bit ago from Sephora. So today I will be unboxing everything I picked up and sharing my first impressions review as I finish getting ready for the day. If you're new here, welcome, I'm so happy to have you. This is our pink sparkly bubble on YouTube where we talk about luxury beauty, fragrance, fashion, everything glam. So if you love luxury beauty, join our community by subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Everything looked so nice, but I only ordered three pieces from the collection. I got one of each. I figured that was the safest bet and then I could figure out whether or not I really loved them and then go back for more. So here I have She's Not From Here. This is the new lipstick. I picked up the corresponding lip liner. She's Not From Here. That's supposed to be an orange red. And then I have Do We Know Her. This is the Major Headlines Double Take Cream and Powder Blush Duo. I'm very excited about that. I also had a little promo code, so I was able to add a couple of these deluxe samples to cart. I did open this box, so I am wearing the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Concealer. I just used a teeny tiny little dab underneath my eye because I picked up the shade Light Fair, and it is incredibly light. I didn't want to apply this on camera just in case I had to immediately wash my face or something like that. I truly was just testing it out just for fun. And then I also have a little sample of this Ultra HD foundation from Makeup Forever. I had to mix in a little of my Charlotte Tilbury foundation to make the shade work because again, the shade wasn't perfect. There are like six choices to choose from. So I went with Y415, hoping that it would match me for summer. And it's just a little bit too tan, but I can make it work if I mix in my light foundation. So I am wearing both of these on my face today. I wanted to keep this review exclusively about the Patrick Ta collection, but I'm gonna wear them throughout the day and see what happens. If I have anything to say about them, I'll make sure I pin a comment at the top. Before today, the only other product from Patrick Ta I've ever tried is this Major Glow Highlighting Mist. I have the shade We Love Her, and I know this got mixed reviews. I really love it. I like to apply it to my neck, chest, decollete, just spritz it on, shoulders, legs. For summer, this is incredible. I will definitely go through this bottle, but I've never purchased or tried any of the other products like the lip glosses, the other blushes, the brow wax that came out recently. I was drawn to this collection because I love the idea of a lipstick lip liner paired with a blush. I can tell you from experience that that is one of the most frequently asked questions. If somebody finds the perfect shade of lipstick, they want to know what's the right blush to wear with this. Or if somebody picks out a really beautiful shade of blush, they want to know what's a great lipstick to match. So it makes perfect sense to launch a lipstick lip liner. Of course, those two always go together, but launch it with a blush. This double take cream and powder blush comes in a soft pink a bronzed nude rich plum and peachy coral, which is the one that I picked up and they retail for $34. So let me go ahead and unbox this. I like the exterior packaging, the rose gold, very beautiful. Ah, it's pretty. I love it. And it does look a lot like the Tom Ford shade and illuminate compacts. And you open it up and you get the cream on top, powder on the bottom. There's a little screen protector right here. I think it's so beautiful how they embossed the Patrick Ta logo in the powder. And the pictures online did not do this blush justice. Of course, I thought it looked really pretty. That's why I decided to go with the peachy coral. But these colors are stunning. The cream looks really beautiful. It's not overly orange. In the photo, I feel like this looked very, very coral, but in person, it's pretty pink. It's the perfect peachy pink. And then this shade down here, this is very light. I think it is going to be so soft and subtle. The two will look really pretty together. It looks like you get six grams of the cream blush and four grams of product in the powder blush, which isn't bad. The pans are a pretty decent size and considering the price, $34, I think that's really reasonable. Oh, so pretty, I cannot wait. Okay, I just need to swatch these. I'm gonna try this first. Ooh, 
It's very emollient. It reminds me a lot of the cream highlighter in this Tom Ford shade in Illuminate. You can tell it's pretty sheer. Let's see. It's beautiful. When I blend it out, it just sort of melts into the skin. It looks so natural, but it loses that glossy shine effect, which I think is a good thing. So it's not going to give you glass skin. It's not going to feel really tacky. Looks really pretty. I really don't want to mess up the design, but I'm going to go ahead in this powder. That's beautiful. It's deeper than I thought. In the pan, this looks so light. I thought if it went on sheer, it wouldn't even show up. But that's really pretty. According to directions on the back of the box, the cream blush is for a sheer dewy glow and the powder blush is for a soft airbrushed finish. You can layer them. It recommends layering the cream on top of the powder for a glossy dimensional look. I don't know why, but in my head, I feel like it makes more sense to apply the cream first and then the powder on top. So we'll try both. I will do the cream and the powder so we can see what they look like individually. And then on top of the cream, I'll apply a little powder. On top of the powder, I'll apply a little cream and we will see what happens. I moved in a little bit closer so you can see. I'm gonna use my finger to apply this cream blush. Picked up a little. I'm gonna do the cream on this side. Uh. It does have a little bit of a glow. I can't tell though because I set my under eye with the Luminous Le Beige Compact and I even used my new Luminous Bronzer from Chanel so I have a lot of luminosity going on, not my typical flat matte Givenchy powder. I love the color though. It's very soft. So let me try to build it up just a little bit. I just want to help that blend using my concealer brush. I think it looks really pretty. And it does have a little bit of a glow, but it's not overpowering. I think it looks really nice. And the color isn't as sheer as I was afraid it would be. That's a good thing too. You can use a little bit if you just want a teeny tiny bit of color, but then you can build it up if you like a really bright poppy cheek. So pretty. I always love a cream cheek. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the powder. I'm using this Refer 05 brush. I'm gonna pick this up. I love it. See, now I can tell that this side has glow but again, all of the other complexion products I use today have glow. The powder blush in the duo has a matte finish. Which side do you prefer, the glossy cream or the soft airbrushed powder? I like both. I think they both look really pretty. And you know what? He solved another problem. Not only do people want a blush to match their lipstick, lipstick to match their blush, but not everybody likes a luminous blush. Some people like a matte blush. Some people want the option of having both. Well, with this little duo, you kind of do have both. You have glowy. It's not really shimmer luminosity, but it is going to give you glow, a more natural glow in my opinion. And then you also have the matte option. Do we know her? I love this color. I think I made the right choice. These soft peachy pinks, they're just so warm and happy for spring summer. Beautiful and really very versatile. I feel like this cheek combination could go with anything. Of course, I picked up the coral lipstick, but if I wanted to do a pink or a red, a nude, any lipstick will go with this blush. So let's do the old switcherooski, shall we? I did the cream on this side, so I'm gonna layer the powder on top of the cream. <laughs> this is 
the opposite of the way that is recommended, but to me it just seems to make sense. Nothing bad happened. It didn't break up any of the makeup. I think it looks really pretty. The only thing that happens is the matte powder covers up a bit of the glow, but that's it. So now on this powder side, I'm going to go in with a little bit of the cream. Let's see. That looks nice as well. Nothing bad happened. I do think this side still looks more glowy. That cream didn't add a ton of glow. I feel like it added a lot of color. My cheek looks a little bit brighter. There's maybe a little bit more of a sheen, but that's really it. Now which side do you prefer? Let me know down in the comment section. Now let's talk about these lippies. This lip liner retails for 26. The lipstick is 32. Again, four different shades and I chose She's Not From Here. So let's unbox this lip crayon, precision lip crayon. So pretty. Beautiful rose gold packaging. This packaging also reminds me of Tom Ford, their precision lip liners, that's what it's called. Except this one, of course, has the little push button at the end, but just the shape of the tip, Tom Ford is more of a triangle, so you can get a really sharp point at the Cupid's bow. But just the fact that it's a little bit chunkier, it's like a chunky rectangle. So let's try it out and see if it's any good. I'm not really used to this rectangle, but I'm sure we can figure it out. Yeah, it's easy to get the Cupid's bow. When I'm lining my lips, I use that beveled edge to my advantage. I carve out the Cupid's bow, drag it down along the side, and then I flip it the other way to connect up from the corner. And it's pretty easy. Let's see. It glides on so smooth. It's one of the softest lip liners I think I have. So it would be really easy if you wanted to feather that in a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the lipstick. So let's unbox, she's not from here. Very pretty though. I love this shade of rose gold. Ooh, and the lipstick tube is textured. It looks very pretty, it almost looks fuzzy. very matte. Hmm. The color is really pretty. This reminds me of Mangrove from MAC, if you're familiar with that shade. I did not realize the lipsticks were matte when I placed my order. I'm still happy I picked it up. I wanted to get one of each and I wanted to make sure I got the same color in all three. I just don't really like matte lipsticks and this is very matte. I think the shade is really pretty. It's definitely not red, it's not orange. It's that perfect orangey red. Not what I expected or I had hoped for originally, but I think it's almost better. This texture I'm gonna have to get used to. I'm going to resist the urge to top it off with a gloss just so I can see how it wears. 
I just don't prefer matte lipsticks because I think they look really dry. They can feel uncomfortable, but they look dry. Like I can see every little crack in my lips. And lips have cracks. You know, even if I exfoliated my lips, went in with a lip conditioner, after some time, of course, I would still have some cracks in my lips. I think the lipstick is going to take some getting used to, but I'm committed to trying because I really love this color. I think it looks really pretty, and I think it does correspond to the blush really nicely. These two work well together. That is all I have here to try. Overall, I must say that I am very happy with the finished makeup look. I think these pieces are all really beautiful, so let's talk about them quick. I love this blush duo. I'm still getting used to opening it the correct way, but I think both of these are really pretty. I love the cream. I love the powder. The powder gives a lot more color than you would think looking at it in the pan. And so does the cream. Both of them are pretty pigmented. I think you get really great color payoff from both. I'm not sure I'm going to layer them when I do apply this in the future. I think they look really pretty layered. It just feels a tiny bit unnecessary. I think in daily life, I'm not going to take the time to layer and put the cream and then the powder or the powder and the cream. I think I'm just gonna choose one or the other and then get out the door. It is nice to have that option of both and I will continue to play around with both and see what happens. But when I look at my cheeks, both sides look pretty similar and I thought it looked really pretty with just the cream and it looked really nice with just the powder. So you have options, that's for sure. I really love this. I will probably look into the pink. I wanna wait until it's in store, which should be next week, I think. And then this lip liner is really interesting. I think the packaging is stunning. I like the little click up function. That's pretty cool, definitely unique. The shape is a bit funny. You just kind of have to play around with it, but it's lip liner, you know, it's not rocket science. So you can pretty much figure out how to work it so that it's easier for you. I like the lip liner. It goes on really nice. It doesn't drag along the lip. So to me, that makes it a good lip liner if it's soft. And this lipstick, I love the shade. I love the packaging, even though it looks like an upside down Tom Ford lipstick. I think it's really beautiful, but, and this is just personal preference, it's just so matte. And I really did not realize that. I would have purchased it anyway but at least I would have gone into it knowing what to expect. And that's my fault. And for today, I'm not gonna top it off with a gloss because I wanna see how it wears. And I'll keep you guys posted. But I love this collection. I think it is so brilliant that they came out with a lipstick blush duo, something that matches. And of course, you can mix and match. You don't have to get the same shade and everything, but I do like that idea because as I said, I know that's a very popular request. The collection takes the guesswork out of trying to find the perfect shade of lipstick to match your blush or the perfect blush to match your lipstick. The quality seems to be there. You know, it's just a first impression review. So I'm gonna keep using these products in the next few weeks. I think he did a really beautiful job. So that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you found this information helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. I love hearing from you guys. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.